Hey there, Edgar Preciado, Rancho Preciado LLC. Uh, today I'm gonna try to get into this beehive here. It's getting a little bit aggressive on me and try to find the queen. I got a new one coming in June 21st. He's the 13th Sunday. So hopefully I can get in here, uh, locate that queen marker and keep her separated till Thursday till that new queen comes in because this is getting a little bit over aggressive on me. And with having kids and stuff and neighbors close by, that's not good, so. Once again, I'm out here by myself, so I'm going to do uh, cuts here and there to kind of show you guys what's going on. And I'll also check. Ooh, that's a lot of bees up there. See that? Also check, make sure um, it's not getting ready to swarm on me, judging by all those bees up there, and see if there's any more um, honey ready to harvest. We're getting ready to hit a dirt here, so hopefully uh, won't be, we'll have some honey ready to harvest. So I'll keep you folks updated. So I just took the uh, two honey frames off, pretty heavy, and uh, as you can tell, they're already starting to get agitated here. So, said so hopefully I can uh, locate that queen and requeen this hive here with no problem. But we shall see. Wish me luck. All right, so I've been through this whole hive. One complete time, it wasn't able to locate the queen, so as you can see they're not very happy, they're all agitated. And I'm getting pelted on the face like crazy, but that's alright. Um, haven't gotten stung yet, thanks to this bee suit my wife bought me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it again, and hopefully I can locate the queen. I mean, I really need to find her, so like I said, we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated on it. I don't know if you can see her, but I found her. She's right there. I'm gonna try to grab her real quick and separate her from everybody. All right, I managed to get her. She's in there. I don't know how good you guys can see her, but yay, mission accomplished. So I just gotta figure out if I wanna kill her now or wait till uh, I get the new one, but We'll see, I'm gonna, I'll figure something out. I'm thinking I might just make a, put her in that pushing cage and put her in there marked, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. All right, so you can see uh, the bees seem to have calmed down a little bit. I got the queen in there. Uh, they're just all over the place and I'm gonna put it back together, check those honey supers there, see if there's any honey being ready to harvest. If there is, I'll go ahead and I'll take that. And um, I decided I got the queen coming in on Thursday, so that's four days from today so I'm just gonna go out. I'm gonna kill that one now that way because there's a lot of drones and eggs and stuff in there and this is just a little bit way too aggressive so I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna do that real quick I'm gonna I'll do all that off camera and then there's one more hive that one over there it's still aggressive also so I'm gonna see if I can't find the queen on that one also Arturo's awake so he's gonna help me with it and uh we go from there. Uh, this hive is so aggressive. My wife got home from doing something in the front yard and uh, she got stung by a bee. So that's why I made the decision I'm just going to kill that queen off to um, that way she's not laying any more eggs for the next four days and then I can start the process a lot sooner. But yeah, I'll keep you folks updated. All right, so I'm done. There's three uh, honey supers full of honey that I ended up taking. One of them actually has no, um, oh, sorry about that, has no. Um, foundation on it so it's all just comb so I'm gonna see if I can actually do honeycomb with that one maybe put it in a jar and sell it like that uh, let me fix this here a little bit yeah these bees are really agitated I uh since my boy came out with me I ended up um, letting him borrow the suit I already had on and uh Danielle had purchased well we had purchased these other suits they're not as good as that one from Walmart we paid 26 bucks you know you get what you pay for so I ended up putting that one on, got stung twice in the arm or in the hand and once in the face. So I had to kind of modify it a little bit. But I got the queen right here. You can see they're not very happy about me having their their queen. I don't know if you can see her in there. But uh, yeah, she's right there. She's the biggest one in there. So I'm going to end up, um, got to get her away from all these bees though and end up killing her. So like I said, I'll do that off of camera though. And then Thursday, 
my new queen should come in. There's one more hive we got to get into that's also being aggressive. But we're going to give these guys here a little while to chill and then hopefully I can get into it. Uh, that one I probably won't videotape because I just wanted to do it real quick. I just wanted to do a quick video on this one here to show you guys pretty much the process for it. Hey, so I got my queen bees today, uh, Thursday, but fortunately I got them a little bit late. It's already night outside. It's getting ready to be 9 o'clock at night, so I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow morning to put them in. Hopefully they do good tonight. They don't have any uh, attendance, so we'll see. And uh, tomorrow morning I'll videotape us introducing them to the uh, two aggressive hives. I don't know how good you can see, but these don't have a uh, any candy on them. Well, ah, here, let me see if I can get some better light over here. So I'm going to see if I, um, the person I got these from actually gave me some candy that I can put on them, see? So that way they um, can eat their way into her. So let's see if I can get this cork out and then introduce the put the candy in there without her getting out. See, she's by the, what do you want to call it, the door or the entrance there. All right, the cork's coming out. All right, got the cork out. She's still in there. Let's see if we can put this candy in there. Oh, she's trying to come out. All right, let's see. All right, there we go. It's going in. So hopefully this will, I don't know how good they are at feeding themselves, but hopefully this will, if they eat some tonight, she'll be able to, they'll be able to survive. I'm just going to put them in a, probably in our cabinet where it's nice and dark and not too cold. So there they are. Oh, there's one of them. I already did the uh, candy cork on the other one. So, and then tomorrow morning, like I said, we'll uh, go ahead and, uh, Introduce them to the hive. Oh, yeah, she's eating so that's good. So all right well, We'll see you guys tomorrow morning Good morning, so it's Friday morning Just a little bit before 7. I'm gonna go ahead and start requeening These hives now that I got the queen. Uh, one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna check for um Supersede your shells, make sure that um, they just start making their own queen since I um, took their queen away five days ago. So I'm going to check for that before I put the new queen in. So that there is a queen cup they're building. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that down. Um, this is like the second frame I pulled out and uh, saw queen cells in it. From uh, my last inspection, I think this is the only one that's going to have queen cells just because that was the only one that had any eggs in it that could have queen cells. But I'm still going to check the whole thing. Uh, there was propolis on top, so I ended up cleaning all that off. As you can see, they are not very happy with me. So, And the propolis, this is all the propolis here. I have the queens there. It looks like a couple bees already found them and uh, might be feeding them. It don't look like they're attacking them, so that's good. So let me uh, continue doing this and... Uh, I'll get back with you guys here in a little bit. So that one queen cell is the only one I saw. I put the uh, queen up here already. You can see they're already either, um, they're not trying to ball her, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna end up sliding her in here. Unfortunately, it's just me, so I'm gonna have to do that first, and then I'll uh, end up showing you guys what I did. Yeah, these guys are still not very happy. But um, I was going to look into those, see if there's any honey to harvest, but I'm just going to hold off on that till probably Monday because i got to come back in here on Monday to check on this one here to see if um, they release the queen. And if not, then I'm going to end up releasing her. Uh, one thing is she's not marked, so if they didn't end up releasing her, what I'll end up doing is I'm going to see if I can mark her before I release her. So I'm going to put her in. Uh, she slid down a lot further than I want. She's in there i don't know if you guys can see her probably not all the bees are really uh, doing a good job of uh covering up but i don't want to mess with them any more than i have to so i'm just gonna let her be for right now. all right so i put it all back together i uh 
Gonna get started on that one there, but I probably won't record that one unless I see something different on that one that I didn't see in this one here. I'm gonna walk away for a few minutes. I gotta refill my smoker. I'm gonna come back and um, get started on that next one. But uh, more than likely, I'll, uh, I'll show an update video on uh, Monday when I go in and uh, see if the queen was released or not. All right, I'm just gonna be able to put it right there. A little bit better, easier to see, so I figured I'd show you guys a video of that. Uh, yeah, these bees are real aggressive also. I mean, I didn't get a video of it, but there's a point in time where my whole veil was just covered in um, bees. Uh, I didn't see any queen cells on this bottom one though, but I gotta check that one there since this one has two uh, supers in it. And uh, I was actually looking at this one. I'm probably gonna, once they mellow out, I'm gonna come in and change out a lot of these frames. I don't like the way they're building the comb in it, so. We'll see, if I see any uh, queen cells and stuff, I might show them to you guys, but yeah, I'm really glad I'm uh, requeening this one, uh, both of them actually. And then hopefully my third one doesn't go aggressive on me either. You guys can see, but this one here, that's what I, a queen cap, some couple queen cups with royal jelly in them. So I gotta get those out of there, so. We'll see, as you can see, yeah, these guys are really, really bad. One just stung me through the glove. But, uh, so let me get that there taken care of, and now I should be able to put this one back together. All right, so I put this one back together. Uh, had a lot more queen cells than that other one did, but, uh, just, and these guys are not happy. Look at this. They somehow managed to sting me twice through the glove. They're not real happy with me, but yeah, I had to get this done, so so it's done. Now I gotta, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put everything up and uh, come back on Monday and check on them. And hopefully those queens will be out by then. So I'll uh, see you guys on Monday. All right, today's June 25th, 2018. We're gonna check on these queens here, see how they're uh, how they're doing. See, they're gonna take like a bunch of them melted and kill a lot of bees. Oh well, they're still robbing it, which is good. A lot of bees up here. That's always a good sign. Even a best sign if uh, the queen's uh, alive or out of the cage. So that's the goal today is uh, check to see if uh, the queen got out of the cage. If uh, she did, we're going to check and make sure there's no more uh, that she's laying and see if we can locate her and uh, mark her. If she didn't get out of the cage, we're going we're gonna to take her out of the cage and mark her and then let her go. Uh, Duty should be coming to help me. I woke him up this morning because I'm gonna probably need some help make this go a little bit quicker. And then if uh, the queen is out, we'll see if she's laying. If she's not out, we'll make sure there's no um, swarm cells or anything like that. So that's the goal of today's, what's well, not even an inspection, but that's just today's goal. All right, you can see they're still kind of aggressive, not very happy with me this morning, but got to get in here and do this, so. Uh, still got a brood in here, which is good. There's no eggs, so if she's out, she's not on this frame here. Let me see if I can't. Oh, wow. Brood pattern over here also. Uh, yep. So once again, though, no eggs. Plenty of honey. I think we're coming up. Woo. 
Oh, you can take video of me too, not just the movies. Mm -hmm. They're getting riled up a little bit, but I believe it's this frame here, and then the next frame is where I put the uh, the queen cage. Yeah, these guys are not happy. You guys can see over here, we have a couple queen cups. Uh, don't look like anything's in them, but to be on the safe side, I'm gonna take them down. <laughs> you need me to smoke a little? No, the, let me do it over here. It's just, uh, if you can tell over here, there's a lot of uh, drones. So, I don't know if uh, that's either a good thing or a bad thing. It's either a good thing because they're going to, because the queen's coming and they want her to breed, or it's a bad thing because I have a lane worker. Oh, yeah, that's nasty. All right, well, due to the way they built that, I got to get this frame out of here eventually, but due to the way they built that, see, I didn't do a good job. Of, well, I destroyed them. That's all that matters. All right, so right here, this next frame, if I'm not mistaken, is where um, is where I had the queen at, the queen cage. So hopefully, uh, yep, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. In there. I've not seen any queen in there, which... Is a good sign, hopefully. Well, I don't know. I'm not seeing a queen in there, not seeing any eggs. Not always a good thing. So. A lot of drone. But like I said, no eggs. No queen in there either, so. So she's been released. Hopefully, uh, I mean, she's been released. She's only been in here a day or two. So hopefully uh, she is in here somewhere laying, happily laying. Ah, you good? Yeah, I just got sweat in my eyes. I'll show you guys that right now. Uh, let's see. Well, said so there's some drones, but I'm not seeing any eggs. Which are you going? Trying to sting your hand? Yeah. And see, they uh, ate all the uh, fondant out of it and let her out. So that's good. There's a bee in there right now. So she's out, I just don't know where she's at. And like I said, I'm not seeing any any eggs. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but a lot of drones on the bottom here. Oh shoot, I don't want the dogs to come over here. Cause last time they came, they got attacked. Yeah, these guys ain't happy. I can only imagine what the other guys are going to be like. Are we going to check them also? Yeah, we have to. But they're not all landing on my face. They're buzzing around it, you know what I'm saying? Which is, I'm guessing is a good sign. Alright, uh, still no eggs. So, and uh, honestly, I've never ordered from this company before. So I don't even know if it was a mated queen. So it's possible she's not mated. 
and that's why there's a lot of drones in here because she might be uh, she might be out on her mating flight she might be getting ready to go on her mating flight but uh, we will definitely find out here for sure but good thing is I know she's released There's a couple of weird brood patterns in there. Look at this here's a newly hatched bee right there. See how it doesn't have that much color on it. So uh, I mean, there's a lot of empty cells for her to be laying in. So I don't understand why why she, she wouldn't be here. What's that? She could be just new to the hive. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible that. She's just not, uh, not, well, I mean, the eggs might just be so small that we can't see them yet. You know, I figured if she got released maybe yesterday, today, can I put her in here on Friday? So like Saturday, Sunday, we'll say it took them two days to uh, chew her out. So uh, well, I'm going to do one more pass off the of camera just to see if we can't uh, have Arturo help me go a little bit quicker so I'll go ahead and shut off the camera through and then we find her we'll be back all right so the bottom we couldn't find the queen or any eggs we ended up uh, pulling the honey supers out just to check them and uh, I don't know if you can see there's a couple of uh, queen cups there and then there's a couple eggs in here I don't know how good you can see those but uh, either she was still skinny enough that she managed to get through the queen excluder and is now up here laying or we have a laying worker, which is what I'm worried about. Judging by some of these here, I don't know. I don't think they'd be um, a laying worker wouldn't try to be uh, trying to um, replace the queen. So I don't think we'd have any queen cups if it was a laying worker. So we're gonna have to uh, check up here really good now to make sure she's not up here. We'll, uh, well, we'll check. Not too, too good because we got a lot of stuff to do. We'll if we can find her, we'll put her back at the bottom. If not, we'll uh, come back and check next week. All right, pretty good, Shiva. Good. All right, so uh, the queen's been released. We have no idea where she's at, if she's even in here. The um, On the bottom here, there is no eggs whatsoever that we saw. On my honey supers, this one here, there's a couple frames with eggs. There's a little bit of honeycomb here that has eggs on it. So I'm hoping that she was skinny enough that she was able to pass through the uh, queen excluder and made it up here. Not I'm gonna have a, um, a lane worker, which isn't good. I don't think I have a lane worker. And the reason for that is they're trying to make another queen and a lane worker could only uh, produce drones, which is male bees. And male bees obviously can't become queens. So, with them trying to produce another queen, hopefully there's a sign that the queen's up here somewhere. It's possible she was skinny enough that uh, she was able to squeeze through the um, honey super. But I uh, will see, uh, as of right now, they're getting a little riled up, a little bit too riled up. We got a lot to do today, so we're just gonna put this back together. We'll end up um, checking it again here uh, next week. Uh, we're just gonna call this Hive 1. This one over here is gonna be Hive 2. And then that was going to be Hive 3, just for uh, future video references. But uh, I'm hoping the queen's in here. If she's at the top, uh, ruined my honey hard, my next honey harvest possibly. But you know what? I'd rather have that than no queen at all. Because then that'd just be $30 down the drain. So we're going to put this one back together. And then we're going to get started on that other one. Um, we won't video the other one unless I, like, once again, unless I see something of a... Uh, other importance but we'll uh we'll keep you guys updated i'm sure i'll take some shots and stuff of the uh, stuff i see on that other one okay. All right, on this one here the queen's still in there as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and uh pull this oh shoot hopefully i can do it with gloves on i don't think i'm gonna be able to darn it so i want to pull that out put her in here and mark her but i just got to figure out how the heck i'm gonna do that without 
That makes it real difficult with gloves on. Uh, let me see. Stop recording for you now. We'll do it once I. Uh... All right. All right. So we're trying to mark her. Managed to put her in here. I was holding it from up here. Somehow I don't know what happened. Uh, this leg came, got unstuck, got, and I'm hoping she fell out. No question about that. Uh, I'm hoping though when she fell out, she fell out into um, the hive. I'm not sure if she did or not. Uh, these bees are way too aggressive, so uh, I'm hoping she fell out into here. And uh, we're just gonna put everything back together. I'm not gonna even bother looking for her right now. Well, let me phrase that. I'm not gonna bother looking for her in the hive. I'm gonna put everything back together. We're gonna be really, really careful on uh, where we step. And then, uh, Hopefully she's in here. God, I can't believe I did that. It's just one of those mornings. So uh, we'll see. I'm gonna, I mean, she's pretty big. So I'm hoping she's uh, in here somewhere. Or I'm hoping she's in the hive. Uh, my boy says it looks like she might've gone in there, but he's not 100% sure. He saw something fall out of my hand and go into the hive and then scurry on down, but we'll see. These bees are just way too aggressive. Look, look at my face. I mean, it's just, yeah, so we're just gonna put them back for right now. And uh, hopefully she's in the hive. I mean, it's possible she fell out. She uh, can't fly back in, but uh, yeah, I'm not, oh my goodness. It's just really upsetting, you know, trying to, can't find the queen on the other one. Might've lost her on this one. And that'd be uh, sixty dollars down the drain right there. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna. Whew, I can smell their pheromones. Last time uh, I went into this hive, they followed me for a while. Ended up attacking the dogs and uh, all that. So we're gonna end up. Uh, I'm gonna smoke me really good, and we're gonna walk around the pool area and go from there. So uh, come over here. So. Uh, Update. Things didn't go as hoped. Uh, there might be a queen on there, but she's probably laying in the honey in hive one. But she's probably laying in the honey supers. Uh, there was a queen in here. We might have just dropped her. I hope not. But uh, we'll find out next week. Oh, man. So yeah, we'll keep you folks updated on that. All right, you can go. Hey, so I was uh, doing some editing of that video for the beehive uh, requeening. And I noticed that um, the ending on it wasn't all that great. I'm gonna have my little nephew here, Levi, today, making his big debut. But um, anyways, I noticed that uh, my ending on it wasn't all that great. I uh, just kind of ended the video not explaining what I was gonna do with Hive 1, 2, and 3. So uh, I'm just gonna go kind of step by step on what I plan on doing with each Hive. Unfortunately, it's gonna extend this video a little bit longer, but just bear with me. Hopefully it's a good learning experience for anybody. But um, Hive one, what I'm gonna do with it is if, uh, hopefully there's a lane queen in it. She might have somehow found her way up to the uh, honey super. Uh, if that's the case, that's fine. I just lost my fall harvest for this year, which I can deal with as long as I have a queen that's in their lane. If it's a working queen that's lane, then totally different issue. We're gonna have a heck of a lot more problems trying to requeen it, because um, that means the other queen got, the queen I bought got released from her cage and is now, uh, been killed because the uh, working bee that I have in there that's slain, all the other bees believe that's their queen. So, with, ooh, bless you. So with that said, uh, if uh, it's a lane worker, it's gonna be a big issue because now I gotta grab the whole hive, take it to the front yard, dump out all the bees, put the hive back where it was, and then have all the bees find their way back. Uh, the reason for that is a, a lane working bee is a bee that's never left the hive, therefore it doesn't know how to find its way back to, um, to the hive, so I'd have to dump it out in the front yard and hope and have all the other bees that know how to get back, get back. Uh, the issue I see with that is this hive's semi-aggressive. Do I really want to dump a bunch of bees out in my front yard where people are walking by, cars are going by, you know, possibly kids playing out front? Gonna cause problems with the neighbors. So keep our fingers crossed and hope it's the queen that somehow managed to get up to the uh, honey supers and is laying up there. Hive two. 
everything was going great with that one. I made the mistake of wanting a marker, ended up dumping her. Hopefully I dumped her back in the hive. Don't know for sure. Um, we'll find out next week if there's eggs in there or not. Hopefully, hopefully she's, I dumped her back in there and uh, she's laying away right now. That's the hopes for uh, hive two. Hive three, looks like there might not be no queen in there. Uh, if there is no queen in there, then I'm gonna have to uh, purchase a new queen. Uh, there's a local that I found is going to have some queens available this Friday. Unfortunately, I won't know till Sunday if I need a queen or not. So hopefully either Sunday or Monday, she still has queens available if that's the case. Best case scenario, both Hive 1 and 2 have a laying queen in them. I can just grab some eggs out of that one, put them in a Hive 3. They'll make a new queen. Best case scenario. Um, overall, the three hives are doing great. No, uh, there's... No uh, wax moth in them, no hive beetles, no uh, varroa mites on, on any of the uh, any of the bees, which is a great sign. They're all perfectly healthy. They might just all be queenless, which is a big negative. If I got to buy three queens, we're talking $30 a queen, so we're talking about $90. Uh, I'm going to say $90 down the drain because if I get a good honey harvest, then I can make that money back, which would be the hope. But uh, So that's just a quick update on the hive one, two, and three. I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging on it. Um, so with that said, uh, let me know if uh, you prefer this type of video where I do, you know, everything on one video or you prefer a section at a time, you know, like it'd be requeening video one, requeening video two, requeening video three, make it a heck of a lot shorter, a lot more videos to watch, but a lot shorter or you just prefer one long video. Uh, but like and subscribe and uh, let me know what y'all think. Thank you.